Hi, I'm Carl Humphrey. And I'm Alicia Rendell. I'm Harvey Kedwell. I'm Ryan Jig. I'm Chuck Taniki. I'm Thierry Smith. TT, come on, Papa. You're saying? Good. So we've got some questions for you. Our men's first team recently extended their unbeaten home league run under Gaffer to how many games? A. A. B. 10. Or C. 12. Well, you've been to all the home games, so. I'm going to say 12. From last year. Yeah, I'm going to say 12. I make 10. Gonna rock, paper, scissors it. <laughs> right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, 10. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll take it. A point's a point. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 10, B. I'll go to all the games. 10. Yeah, but come on. She... I'm a fan, you know, that's why as well. <laughs> Real talk. We started our season 3 0 win against Portsmouth at the Valley. What minute was our third goal scored in? A, 23. B, 34. Or 60 second minute? Go on, I say 62. Second half. C, go C. Yeah, C. I was, was A. 23 minutes. B. I'll probably go. Is that C. wrong? 23rd is the answer. Third goal in the 23rd. Oh, Who are we playing? Four, four, three, is that not a record? I think, is it 24? 23? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. 23. 23? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did we not get like a big shining buzzer to say correct? Like, <laughs> bing! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bing! <laughs> I'm gonna tick on top of my head. The men's under 21s have enjoyed and beaten the start to their season, winning five of their opening six league games. How many league goals have they scored so far? A, 10. B, 16. C, 24. I mean, my mum, she said, oh, I think the under 21s have been doing really well lately. Really? <laughs> it's like, oh, I've played this really bad, I don't really know. Can we, like, phone a friend and call Carla's mum <laughs> to see how many goals have they scored? I feel like well, if you don't know, you always go for the middle. The I middle. Like more than two a game. Well, I think we should just go for the middle one. Well, yeah. it's okay. up to you. Okay. Come on then. You can lock it in. <laughs> I ain't saying it. Um, B, 16. C. Oh, oh what? It's B, 16. 24. C, 24. Oh, wow. okay, that's decent. Wow. Nah, it has to be A. It has to be. 10. 10. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's B. You think it's B? C. What? That is mad still. 24. 24 goals in six games. In six games. 24, C. I think that's right. The men's first team kicked off their season with a 1-0 victory at Wigan Athletic. What minute did Dwight Jones score the winner? Oof. He's in the 60s, not one. A, 61. 71st. C, 81. I think 81, I'm pretty sure it was. I'm going to say 81 as well, because I feel like they've scored quite a yeah. few late goals. Yeah? Yeah. C, 81. We're on a roll. Nice. 81st, isn't it? Yeah. 60s, yeah, 61. Yeah, no, I'm positive. 100. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 70. 71. 81. Eight, oh, was it 80s? Because you've got to remember the 60s, you've got in my head. Oh, I thought it was 60, you know. No, no, no. 81. Nice, lady. In what year did the women's first team become a full-time professional outlet? A, 2019. B, 2020. C, 2021. This is my third season. So what are we in, 24? 23, 22, 21. I'm going to go A. If you want to go A, I'll go A. 2019. Oh yeah, 2019, 100%. Wait, yeah. 2019. <laughs> what? 2020? What? No. <laughs> That's not right. Oh, really? No, that is not. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, that is not true. They were professional before I came. No, no, that's not true. Really? I think it was about these. I'm saying C, twenty twenty one. A, I'd say. A, twenty nine. Nice, mate. Totally. Nice, you. Twenty twenty one. I want to say twenty one. Late after COVID, were not it? Mm. Ryan Luke Baller is currently the men's under 21's top scorer. How many goals has he scored so far this season? A4. B6. Or C7. 7. seven. Yeah, good ton. Yeah, 7. That's mad. Seven goals. Six seven games. Seven. He's moving like Haaland. Nice, Yuki. Yeah, me. They've scored 24 goals in 5 games. Should we go for 7? Yeah. 7? Yeah, <laughs> see. That's decent. Yeah, it's very good. 
Seven goals in five games. More than they've scored in all my career. Seven tappings, I guess. <laughs> They're all tappings, mate. What was your favourite tapping then? Probably the latest one, Sheffield. Well, the oh, that was a good goal. Yeah. That was the right goal to be fair. Outside the book. Right? Shot through four people somehow, but went in. Who assisted Chuck's Aniki's goal in the men's first team's 1 1 draw against Rotherham United? A. Alan Campbell. Tyrese Campbell. C. Connor Coventry. I think it's A. I'm pretty sure a sub passed to a sub to a sub. A sub passed to a sub to a sub. <laughs> and then it went so, top bins. Yeah, so, and I think they both came on. Yeah, yeah, they did. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say A. We're going to say A. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Alan Campbell. Don't need to go yeah, through them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already yeah. not. That one was literally like last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. What did you make of that, though? Oh, top finish. That's my guy, though. Oonks, you get me? Hey, baller. I'm not a sign. Hey. Wait. Alan Campbell. What's that? Um, Chucks is gold. Very glad. That was all. Put top in. Who is that? Yeah. Was he? Yeah, it laid up someone else. Yeah, TT. Oh, no, uh, I'm thinking of. Um, what's this guy? I'm thinking of Luke Berry's goal. That was kind of commentary, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm thinking of the wrong goal, eh? <laughs> yes. Good goal, one up. Yeah, it was unreal. It's a goal. We host Durham at the Valley on Sunday. What current addict scored the winner in the last meeting between the two sides? <laughs> I, I know this. Already. A. Alicia and Dow. Katie Barton. C. Mill Phillips. I'm just gonna see, see for milk. A, it's the. Oh, it's A. Was it a good goal? Both wrong. She's sent her back. Nice shoe. Hey. Alicia. Oh, Alicia. It's pretty, it's pretty difficult, but I think it was me. My only goal of the season. But was that definitely a winner? I'm not sure. Yeah, we, won, we won. No, no, we won 1 0. Is it 1 0? Yeah. So I think it oh. might have been the winner. <laughs> it was the only goal, I hope so. I remember you scoring. It was like. Yeah, was in, the, in the ninth minute. Is that a question? Can we get a bonus point for that? Is that in your bio? I don't yeah. know what minute's in. Alan Mwamba became the latest academy slotlet to make his men's first team debut on Tuesday night. What is his legacy number? A, 908. B, 958. Or C, 998. I feel like maybe it's 998. That's quite a laugh. What's those 908? <laughs> uh, so, should we go 998? Right, 9 one, one. 998, final answer, 998. There you go. Uh, C. 998. I only know that because oh, Steve what? told me earlier. Did it? Yeah, Steve so, told me yeah. so. So I found that. You could be Bowser, right? Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. Be a special one, right? Trials for these. That would be a good one, too. 998. Yeah. So what, we got one rung? Two rung? So, seven out of nine. That's decent. So, 875 was Connor Gallagher. Nice. Eight, se eight, seven, six, Deji off the Oh, my boy. 877 uh, in the same game, Jonathan Necker. Nice. And then 878 against Lope City on the 10th of August, 2017. So, you both scored on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. So, you guys got me. And then 9 at 6 against Bolt Wanderers on the 17th of February 2024. Terry from the best car. Big man, that's what Yeah, that was. Yeah, 3 3. The one where you've done the whip. You've done yeah, the, the whip. whip. The yeah, winning. Yeah. So, how are you finding it playing at the Valley so far this season? I really enjoy it. I think it really suits us and suits our style of play. I think we struggled last year when we played on a smaller pitch. You know, teams that found it easy to come and bank up against us. But I think now we have a bit more space to play and enjoy having the ball. What do you think? Yeah, no, I agree. I think as well, um, it's better atmosphere for the fans as well. I feel like having our final pre-season game there against Villa um, allowed the fans to see what we're capable of and hopefully it will bring more in for the season. How have you enjoyed it so far? I think it's been really good. Good um, morale in the team. Uh, you know, we've got off to a flying start and I think the boys are really focused to do something big this season. We're closer as a team this year, whereas last year wasn't really close because there's a lot of players in and out and we didn't really have a set team but like this year. We've got like a well set team and we're all good togetherness. I think that's probably the key reason why we're doing so well. We're together and we're all on the same page. Exciting isn't it? Yeah. You know, we're up to a good start so we can hopefully just keep on kicking on. Keep the momentum. Yeah. I mean, we've got a few players.
you know. No, it's true, and we've got a good form at the Valley as well, so, you know, anything can happen. I think I think it's a, an exciting day. It'll be a good turnout, right? It'll be a good turnout, fan, fan base, so, you know, go there. I mean, putting in our performance. Put up a show, get me.